This is for the ethics review class at Parker University. The first major topic for this class is a review of the 12 licensing board rules that apply to chiropractors. And the first rule is about the simplest rule you can imagine. When chiropractors receive their licenses, they provide addresses to the Board of Chiropractic Examiners. When that address changes, they need to notify the Board of Chiropractic Examiners about that change. The addresses collected by the Board include a physical home address. That's not a P.O. box. That's a street address. Same thing for the business address, if there is a business address and an email address. Now they just started collecting email addresses in 2016, but that's a mandatory item that needs to be provided if you have a, a, an email address. Uh, chiropractors may also provide a different mailing address so that if they have a P.O. box where they prefer to receive their mail, they can provide that information uh, to the Board of Chiropractic Examiners. Now that all sounds simple enough. But I think what happens is people don't move that often. And when they do move, they don't remember to notify everybody that they need to notify. And they don't, and they seem to fairly often forget to notify the Board of Chiropractic Examiners. It's easy to remember the people and the institutions you contact uh, continuously. Of course, your patients are going to be notified if you move your office. If you uh, work with vendors on a routine basis, if you receive monthly invoices from a vendor, you will remember to provide them with a notice. But typically, chiropractors will communicate with the Board of Chiropractic Examiners only about once a year when the Board sends the information for the chiropractor to renew their license. Now, in Texas, we are going to a uh, biannual review so that the uh, uh, license will not need to be reviewed except once every two years so that there will be even less communication with the board and as a consequence when chiropractors move they seem to forget to notify the board when the mail gets returned to the board because the forwarding order has expired uh, the board will send a letter to the chiropractor to notify them that they are now in violation and the board does not seem or doesn't have the resources to go searching for chiropractors who have gone missing. So it's important for you to make sure you receive important mail from the board to be sure that you notify them. The rule requires that you notify the, the board within 30 days of moving. And which your email address happens to change, you must notify the board within five days of that change. The notice to the board needs to identify the doctor, identify the address that's being changed, the license number associated with the address, and the request needs to be signed by the doctor. Uh, generally, the Texas board at this time is not set up to receive those changes online. They need to receive uh, paper documentation I recommend for your protection that you send them a paper notice of any change of address, even if it's your email address, and to maintain a copy of that notice in your records. It's better to send that notice by a, a mechanism where you receive a receipt. You may send a fax so that you receive a receipt, or you may send a letter by certified mail return receipt requested so that you receive the green card back to prove that you notified the board of the change of address. Although I think they try very hard to be accurate and complete in maintaining their, their address database, I also suspect like any institution that's trying to maintain addresses for over 5,000 doctors, there will occasionally be clerical errors in the addresses. There will occasionally be clerical errors where they fail to make an update that they should make. So for your protection, you should maintain that proof that you notified the board. Uh, but of course, the real key here is, is not so much maintaining that proof, but remembering to notify the board when you move. If you have already moved and it's been more than 30 days and you have not notified the board, Go ahead and notify them now. Contact them now. Don't wait until they figure out that they have a bad address for you. 
uh, let them know in advance. Uh, I suspect that in most cases, they will be understanding, and that's not going to result in a fine or disciplinary action, but you uh, uh, failing to notify them is simply going to make the situation worse than it is. And that's the end of this video. Like I said, that's a very simple rule.